Hello, I'm FKX Slicker, and welcome back to the episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is the Let's Play where I'm playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox. Building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And of course, you know, nowadays it's Minecraft Bedrock, but I still don't know if we want to make the, the, you know, the vocal switch to saying that instead. But yeah, when we're doing lots of things today, building, killing, destroying, it's what we usually like to do, because, you know, I was apparently Thanos before Thanos, keeping things perfectly balanced as all things uh, must be. So with that said, today we're not going to be doing too much to do it Balance, but I do have some big plans because I went and mined a bunch of blue ice It's funny because a bunch of blue ice like a solid, you know Like five ten minutes of mining only gives you 48 blue ice But it still means I can extend it extend it even further Which is gonna be a good thing and then we're gonna uh, actually place a conduit for the first time in a very long time Over in the same area because I figure what I want to do is I want to <laughs> I just have some random ice in the nether still Don't know how it got there. Don't know if you can still place ice here, but I, I, I think that's kind of great, right? Um, but yeah, one of the things uh, oh wait, I did boom right here on right now before I say anything else, make an iceberg in the nether. Make an entire iceberg biome. Boom, that's a, a billion dollar. Actually, I, I think it has no value, but it's a fun idea that you might want to do. But today I'm not here to give you ideas as fun and as interesting a thing as that is. Instead, I'm here because I wanted to, uh, you know, talk about what I'm up to today, which is going to be activating a conduit in my coral reef. It's going to be great because I need to get some coral for my museum. I need it for like the blocks uh, section of it, but I also want it just to make my uh, aquarium look a bit better. So we're going to uh, act a conduit down there so we can probably mine the thing maybe drain it later but for now we're gonna activate the conduit just because it makes it much more visible it'll look a lot better after we do the blue eyes stuff and yeah we'll be in that side of the world today which will be a little bit fun if you're not familiar it actually is like quite some distance to get to there even in the nether now that i've portaled it up as you saw in qna saturday and maybe other background videos uh even, even though now i've portaled it up and everything it's still quite a run across here but at least it's a, a solid run yeah and there's even a dog randomly chilling <laughs> in the nether next to there you know i've i've got some questions about how you've got hit pal but yeah uh it's it's gonna be a lot of fun i hope you'll enjoy it let's talk about what's been going on in the past week because if you don't already know if somehow this is your first let's play then you probably think this is the worst let's play series on earth but uh <laughs> so sorry about that but yeah usually this is like a fun opportunity for me to not only talk about yeah you know stuff like oh yeah this is um I talk about not only, uh, you know, like Minecraft and whatever you see in the background, give you some fun ideas like the one I just gave you, uh, but also it's a great opportunity for me to talk about what's been going on the week. It's a little bit of a vlog because, let's be honest, a lot of the times when you're playing Minecraft, you can do stuff that don't take all of your, your mental power, and it's a great opportunity to talk about other things, which is why, uh, incidentally, I still recommend uh, if you ever, if you want to like, you know, play a game of a podcast, Minecraft is one of the best ones because you can focus on Minecraft a lot if you want to just play it by itself. A lot of people still do that to this day, probably the majority, right? Uh, but if you want to do something that's fairly monotonous, but you know you want to get it done, like say you make this, then either, you know, you do some talking because you're me and you want to talk about what's been going on, or you can listen to something podcasty. Boom. Ideas of Toy Cat. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. So with that said, uh, oh, I probably should have gone to sleep first, but never. Uh, you know, I've already stuck to this. Let's keep sticking for, uh, further. Um, so yeah, basically, um, this past week has been a really interesting one for me, actually, because uh, this is the first... Um, I actually had a, a friend die, and or a former friend, I will say. Um, and I, there's been a lot of, like, interesting thoughts in my head around that and revolving around how things go. But I think the most shocking thing is the fact that I don't think I, like... Um, I'll, I guess I'll talk about it some more in depth, like, a little bit later, because it seems heavy. But it's not really a heavy subject for me, and I feel like maybe that's a concerning thing. Because uh, I've, I've been thinking a lot about, I guess, uh, being alive, being dead, all that sort of stuff. But I think it's all led to a pretty generally okay place. So just clarify, this is one I used to be really good friends with, uh, maybe five years ago. And then, you know, like, uh, the, the interesting thing about, um, at least where I'm from, and maybe, I assume this is everyone, is that, like, half your friends go off to university and they leave to, you know, their own corners of the country. Half of the people, uh, stay where they are. And then half the people, well, I guess that's three halves, isn't it? Which is, is not good fractions. Uh, but then, then they kind of end up in their own sphere. And this friend was one of those, uh, types of people. So, yeah, um... I, I have some thoughts in it, and I guess we'll talk about those after I just very briefly mention, you know, I'm going to go to sleep. I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. It's just too much for me. Um, so, yeah, after, after I mention just very briefly the fact that it's not been the only thing going on in my uh, life this week. I also have been celebrating my birthday properly. I, I did a big, uh, not a big birthday thing. Like, I, 
I've said this before and I'll say it again, but I don't generally like large groups of people. Um, you know, any, any group of people larger than five or six people, and you're just splitting into multiple groups that happen to be doing the same thing, with all the downsides of being in a huge group. Try, try and tell me I'm wrong on that. Try and tell me that when you invite 100 people to your birthday party or whatever, that you individually know and get along and have a wonderful time with all of them, because I, I, I don't believe you. I think that's uh, not true. So I redid my birthday party with a few friends. It was it was a fun time. I, I liked it a lot, because I, <laughs> I did something, uh, you know, like the day after or before. Oh no, it was the day off my birthday, I think it actually was, um, uh, with some friends. However, the, the key downside is uh, there was this really, uh, so there's a place called Swingers, a funny name, right, for a golf, uh, a mini golf place uh, that's right in like the heart of London and uh, like, you know, like where the bankers are and all that sort of stuff. And uh, the interesting thing about this place is I got there at 11, like 37 and the last game was 11.30 and I was like, no, the whole, the whole, uh, you know, brilliant thing, it's, it's all gone now. Also, you can't make uh, blue ice in your inventory as much as you might like to, because obviously it requires all nine slots, which is tragic, really, when you think about it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, I, I did that reset by my birthday, which is great. I mean, I think, honestly, I, I've always been of the opinion that, like, but birthdays are such an arbitrary thing, like what you were born all this time ago. And we, we generalize down to the day. You know, I was born at, I don't know, I think I was born fairly late in the day, but like we call me a July 13th birthday. Um, but like if you're born at like t two minutes past midnight, suddenly that day is your birthday. And you know, like the fact that you're 23 years old means nothing. I think, I, I personally, this is a bad idea and I know we can't implement it, but I've always been of the opinion that like, instead of having birthdays and like measuring your age by stuff you've done, there should be like key milestones in your life. So, you know, like, uh, let's let's pick up a ridiculous system right here. Uh, in the same way that I think some school systems do this, it should be like, I am age group one, age group two, etc. Um, and then you could have like, okay, age group one is like people who can't do anything for themselves. A age group two is like, oh yeah, I now have the ability to respond to your questions and sometimes come up with my own ones. And then age group three is like, I know enough that you can actually talk to me uh, like a vague adult. And then it's like, age group four is... Uh, I am now uh, either, you know, like finished with education or doing something of my own volition, like, you know, I don't know, you're, you're working, you're doing something like that. And then, you know, you could go up and like a real thing like that. And then that should define all the different things in life. Because uh, right now we just kind of expect that like, you know, after you've been alive for 21 years or 18 years or 20 years or 25 years, you know, then you just have, then you probably have the life experience necessary to do X, Y, and Z. And I don't know, I, it just, I'm just saying, would make more sense. Because we also have a lot of systems, like for instance, if you're 18 and you try to get uh, insurance, especially car insurance, but any type of insurance, they assume that you're gonna either commit insurance fraud or you're just gonna use it a lot because you're an idiot driver or whatever. And you know, that's offensive to the people who aren't idiot drivers. And I assume that you could find some better way to correlate that with like, oh yeah, well, this guy, he's been looking after his brother since he was 12, and you know, he's been working part-time jobs alongside school. You know, I, I think he gets an age group four. Boom, just new idea for you right there. But yeah, I, birthdays are a little bit arbitrary. I like to celebrate them because like, you get to like, <laughs> this is terrible, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, you get to like be like, oh, it's my birthday though, so you kind of have to and like, and then everyone also, you know, there's, there's there's two traditions for your birthday, right? One is that everyone buys you a drink, and one is that you buy everyone a drink. And I'm just saying, like, of those true traditions, I know which one I prefer. Uh, I I don't understand how they both exist at once. Like, oh, it's my birthday. Let me let me give everyone uh, some of my uh, my resources. That that'd be wonderful. Now that that doesn't seem like a good idea. Glad it's not a more widely practiced thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pro tips of Toy Cat. And uh, yeah, so I, I, and then also you get to be like, oh, you can't miss my birthday. And they're like, you know, what? I do have work at literally 7 a.m. tomorrow, but I guess you're right, I can't miss it. And I think it's kind of a funny thing that, like, you know, the truth is, is that people uh, are in full control of themselves, but then, like, they, yeah, a lot of people have to believe that they literally can't do something that they very much can. Um, and it's, it's, it's probably a good thing that enough people believe this because. You know, it's probably not good if you believe that you can do anything you want whenever you want, because then you'll spend your whole life, you know, I don't know, going on holiday. I, I don't know what people would do. If you if you removed every restriction from someone, then no one would do anything, and you, you, it's it's a bad thing. You, you need to convince yourself sometimes you literally can't. Like, you know, when you, when you need to, you know, cut down your spending, you say, oh, I literally just can't afford anything. I I can only spend this much. Again, everyone always has access to more, which is a bad thing. It's bad. It's it's a good thing that people don't think they have access to unlimited money. The people who do have some serious, serious life issues as a result. But it's interesting that you kind of, you always have way more control than you'll let yourself know. You almost can't trust your own brain because you're like, if I let my own brain know that I can stay out until, you know, 3 a.m. even though I'm working at seven, uh, then 
I'm, you know, my, my brain is going to abuse that fact and me at 7 a.m. tomorrow is going to hate that. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's just one of these interesting examples where like, you know, people, people lie to themselves and maybe that's an okay thing. I'm not too sure. Also, I, f I want to make a throne here, I think. Uh, I'd, it's been a while since I actually last did it, so I'm going to be kind of vaguely cautious about it. I just want to first of all activate the conduit because it's a lot easier to make stuff after you've, okay, let's just quickly, come on conduit, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna turn this into a throne. Uh, right now, this is like my base blueprint, just because I think they look kind of cool, and because I, I haven't made one in some time. Except we can't make a throne because we don't have any wood. So for now, we'll just make the really blocky version of a throne, where it's like, you know, this vaguely is a throne, right? Like, it's it's the same dynamic as one, just missing all the other parts. Anyway, well, the reason we got that is so we can mine some of the coral around here. I only want a little bit of each block, and I definitely don't want the dead stuff, so easy as that. And then we can make a, a coral display, maybe in my aquarium. It, it'd be nice, right? It'd be nice. So one of everything. Let's go. Do I have the space for one of everything? I do not have the space for one of everything. Uh, oh, look how fast this is. I forgot how fast uh, the mining bonus is. So with that said, though, um, I want to talk a little bit also about oh um, something else I've been doing this week, which is, I guess, like just playing around with YouTube formats a bit more. Oh, wow, drowned. Playing around with YouTube formats a bit more. I've been making a few mobile game videos on the third channel, for instance, IBX Toy Cat Let's Plays. That everyone calls Andrew Andrews because YouTube won't let me display it as IBX Toy Cat Let's Plays, even though that's the channel name and URL. So whatever, Andrew Andrews. Uh, I've been I've been making a few mobile game videos just because like I want to play around with the more accessible side of gaming, I guess. Because um, there's a few new big games coming out. Uh, I think it was the Command and Conquer one that made me go. You know. What? I guess I have to take mobile games at least that amount seriously, you know? Like, that amount or more is the minimum I, I have to take uh, seriously. Which, um, you know, I guess isn't a bad thing in the end of things. Like, you know, it's, it's a good thing to explore your horizons. And because that, I was like, you know, let's work out the recording issues, let's work out this and let's work out that. And the third channel's kind of been like an outlet for that. And I honestly, one of the things I, I love about YouTube that I don't get to express enough um, is like sometimes it allows me to like do creative new things. And it's, it's really satisfying when I do something new and it works out. Uh, a lot of people, I, I feel like when they look at this channel, they're like, you know what, this is like all the same all day, every day, right? But it allows me to express the ideas of like, I'm gonna, you know, make a new idea and then see if I can follow it all the way through for a video. Like, here's non-aggressive ways to use your sword in Minecraft. Uh, stuff like that is what I like to try out and um, I know, I, I guess it's it's kind of cool, like, uh, that when you have so many channels, uh, that you can just keep on doing that. Also, there was a buried ship in here the whole time. I kind of want to detangle it from all of the coral, and I also want to not do that, so... I'll go look around the rest of this, because I bet there's another uh, ship around here somewhere. You know, like, it just, it seems like it statistically happens to me way more often than it should. And you know, I'll take statistical advantages where I can get them. Also, um, pro tip, always put more blocks around your conduit, if you can because there's just a, a benefit, like it just makes the uh, the power go a bit further. And given that I like power, it's also, <laughs> damn it, you deactivated my convert by moving me a bit. But um, given I like powers and I like them being more effective, that seems like a good thing for me. Also, it makes a really nice sound effect, the conduit. I could like sit here and listen to it all day. So yeah, we're gonna specifically go after bubble coral, I guess, because we've already made a, a big effort towards that, as well as a, a ship, bubble coral and ships, and also, blue coral, because blue tube or tube coral. Let's be honest, no one's calling it tube or bubble, etc. right? Like, we're all calling it a thing. Um, Minecraft has a, a real naming problem when it comes to, like, you know, just just call it the thing you know the community's going to call it. Otherwise, you're just creating two uh, competing standards or whatever. But anyway, with that said, that's not too important. It is important, but it's not. It's not the most important thing, which is what I'm going to be talking about right now. Which is that, yeah, this this past week I've been playing around with a lot of creativity stuff. It's felt good. It's been a good uh, way for me to, I guess, uh, feel one of the fun things I like about YouTube in the beginning. Which is just throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, I, I really like the second channel because it's kind of like that still. But with, like, real life topics. But one, one of the problems is, like, every channel eventually locks down to a niche. And a part of me really doesn't like that. Like, uh... I, I'm glad that I have, uh, there's, there's the two parts of me. There's the part of me that's like, I want to do something I know people like. And then there's a part of me that's like, I want to just, I want to make a video about Digimon World 2003. I want to make a video about Super Mario 64. Wait, you can't because Nintendo. But, you know, you get the point, like, I, 
there's like a conf there's conflicting parts of me, and having having multiple channels allows me to do that in a place where because you know if you if you upload a bad video to YouTube, it doesn't just hurt that one video. It's not that you just didn't make money that you could have made in another video, or views, or likes, or engagement, but it actively means less people see on your videos. You know how um, YouTube will sometimes just turn your subscription down from notify all to notify some. Because, you know, when you click that bell, you wanted YouTube to tell you how much it activates. Uh, the reason they do that is because, you know, you upload a video. If you, if, you, if you miss enough videos or this or that, then it just assumes like, oh, clearly you're not interested. You told us you were interested, but your opinion has changed. Trust us, we know, we're YouTube. And you know, I, in some ways it kind of has. So yeah, uploading to a YouTube channel, it's a complex thing. But it's a thing uh, that you gotta be in control of. And I think also, this is I guess a pro tip life for anyone. Like if you, if you, even though you might think you have no time for anything, making some time to do like, let's call it a side project, but just to do any type of project you like. Also, there's so much iron around her. As someone who needs a lot of iron, my mega beacon, I'm just gonna sidetrack very briefly. And let's do some underwater mining. I, I have not done that yet in Minecraft ever. So given that I need iron, this seems like a fun, fun way to spend some time. But yeah, one of the fun things I'd say is like, you know, you might think you have no time, and some people literally have no time. I want to always clarify, like, if I'm making generalizations, it's not true for everyone, of course. But, um, the interesting thing is, like, you always have more time than you figure you do, and you can kind of allocate that. Uh, or some of it, at least. Like, even if it's 20 minutes a day, you know, if you want to learn a language, like, I, I always do this myself. Like, I know I have time if I wanted to, to pick up a language. I've been going back into it, like, just to learn enough Japanese to feel like I'm not infringing on the Japanese culture? I don't know what I'm saying, but um, also I'm gonna probably die if I- <laughs> you have to stay really close to the conduit power or bad things happen. Pro tip with Toy Cat right there. Um, but yeah, oh, let's get, there's more iron in here. There's so much iron in these underwater caves. I bet they probably got the same amount of every resource, but the fact that you swim through instead of, um, you know, walking through, it just makes it seem more wonderful. Like, this is, this is fun. I'm, I'm glad I'm going to do this for the first time. But yeah, a lot of things like make some time to try something new or whatever you want to do in your life that you feel like you're not. I feel like that's got to be like the one simple tip to be like, you know, if you're unhappy, work out what you want to do. If you don't know what you want to do, that's like a hold on crisis. Maybe put 15 minutes a day to working out what you want to do in life. But it's, it's really interesting that like planning things out, it's worth losing the time in doing things to spend time planning those things because so much of like a human mind needs to be directed towards something. Like humans can do amazing things if we're like directed. And I, as someone who doesn't like being directed by other people at all, you know, maybe you do, maybe you do, in which case, uh, why don't you right now go and try and find me some Minecraft seeds for my seed Sunday, just type in blank seeds all day. But no, um, <laughs> and you know, you get some credit. I'll give you, uh, I'll love you a long time. It'll be a wonderful thing if you, if you do do it. But no, if, if you like being directed by people, I, I kind of envy that because, you know, then someone else can kind of handle that task you. Whereas personally, I, my, my own brain needs to tell my brain what to do. And I, so therefore it's always like, do 55 things a day. But now it's just like, you know, I take to take some minutes. Uh, so I take like an hour a day, to just work on like other channel stuff. Uh, or really it's more like I take like a few hours every two to three days to work on like second channel, third channel, just random creative projects to test my video making reflexes and like uh, see you know just try some new stuff out I guess uh, but you know I, I make games and oh, I play games uh, a lot so it's, it's important that I play new ones I feel like to me but if to you you feel like you want to learn Japanese or you feel like you want to do anything else I feel like it's a good idea to oh my gosh got poisoned by a puff fish it's not something that happens every day I feel like it's a really good idea to just uh, not always never tell yourself you don't have time be un unless it's like, you know, like, there are some things where you need to be like that. Like, let's be honest, tell yourself you don't have time if it's something you know you shouldn't be doing. Like, you know, I really hate hanging out with this guy. Uh, I, I had this issue in school all the time where it's like, I don't have time and I'm hanging out doing a thing I don't even want with a person I don't even like, because, you know, there's just this weird social obligation. It's, it's terrible. Um, you know, maybe tell yourself you don't have enough time for that so you don't feel bad or whatever you've got to do. But there are a lot of situations. Also, I think we've probably done all the underwater mining we can in the conduits range. Oh no, we got another one. It's all good. But yeah, the, the interesting thing is that you always have time and you just get to choose where it goes. And you know, it's, it's good to, it's good to be picky about where your time goes. It's a really good thing, but it also means that you don't spend time on what you might call a passion sometimes, which is, which is bad. You know, you, uh, you gotta, you gotta spend some amount of time developing 
new things, passions, hobbies, whatever you're thinking of. Learn a language, do a, wh whatever you feel like doing. I just feel like that's one of the tips to happiness. Like being able to, like, again, if you're someone who has to tell yourself what to do, tell yourself to have some fun from time to time, but also tell yourself to do some things that are somewhere half between like fun and useful. I feel like that's where a lot of the best things in life are. The reason so many hobbies are so much work is because people like that feeling. Like they wanna do something that feels like it's good work, but also is not work. Like it's not profitable for them. This is why so many rich people get into stuff like, you know, golf for instance, or, um, or I see a lot of people get into like expensive hobbies like, um, you know, like paramotoring, paragliding, or anything that requires, uh, skiing. People get into skiing to the level where they buy like thousands of pounds worth of gear. Same with biking. Um, because, yeah, the, like, I, I'm in computers to the level, you know, I need it for my job, I guess, technically speaking. But I was in computers before even that, just because it's, like, a fascinating hobby. I follow computer parts, and it's kind of like, it, if, it, if you had it as your job, you would probably follow it on the same level. Like, I'm not sure what job you have that requires following computer parts. Maybe, you know, you make tech news or something. But, uh, it's interesting that you kind of need to, I think having something that's halfway between work and fun is a lot of what makes humans great. This this is why, uh, I, I think at least, why the whole like podcast and game thing is great. You can improve your, uh, you know, because Minecraft, I think, actually, you know, let's, let, that's what I meant with this. Uh, Minecraft is one of the best games because it can feel like work or it can feel like fun or it can feel like in between. Right now I'm just having fun on mining because I want to, I want to, I want to get some stuff for later. Uh, but earlier in the episode, when I was doing that big, long thing, which, like I said, gave me an opportunity to talk about what's going on, it's, uh, one of those, it's, it's great, you can treat it like both, and I feel, maybe, maybe this is just where I'm in life, maybe it's like a, I think there is just a stereotype that, like, when you're in your 20s, slash, when, when you're young, I guess, let's call it, uh, you, you want to work more, you want to trade your time for money, or whatever it's, whatever the, the phrase you might want to call it is. But, uh, you know, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe everyone else hates this. Maybe it's just my brain. But it is something I find is a sweet spot that makes many things successful. Such as podcasts. Such as Minecraft. Such as Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, for all things. Or, uh, you know, like, the, the reason all these terrible games, Train Simulator, all these things. Like, people who drive trains sometimes play train simulators in their off time. MMOs. The, the trend of MMOs. MMOs are just a job that you pay money for. Uh, same with The Sims, actually. Uh, there's so many of these things that are just versions of jobs because humans like jobs we just don't necessarily like the one job that we've picked to do and also i guess it's because like humans like a little bit of specialization anyway that's that's my opinion i could be wrong i again i'm an internet cat i don't know words and things uh, what i do know though is i want to play around with my new extended blue ice pathway and also also if you haven't seen this yet it's just so fun when it works perfectly it really does because you hit the sides too often like this but it's, it's great regardless. Um, but I want to talk just a little bit about, uh, so I had a friend that died recently, like uh, I'm, I'm 23 and he's the same age as me. And there's something about that that like hit me a little bit at first, but like also not really in the end. And I, it's weird because Alpha, so this is like the most serial killer sociopath thing I think I'll ever say. Uh, so if you, if you want to assume I have no emotions, then that's fine. But I think honestly, the fact that I wasn't good friends with him before he died is a good thing. Um, so, um, I don't want to go into it too much, because, like, it's, it's someone else's personal thing. Uh, you know, it's his struggle with, uh, you know, like, the world and drugs or whatever. But the interesting thing is that, um... Oh, no, no, I was... Do you see that? Like, I tried to eat the salmon, and it put me in the boat, which is not what I wanted. Oh, no, it did, it did the same thing again. Even if you're, like... Okay, you have to, like, get some good distance between you and the boat. And we'll just throw away the last piece of salmon, because who needs that anyway? So, yeah, pro tip, never land from a boat into the air you can land from a boat into the sky and get done that way but don't go don't go from the boat into the ground you do take full damage if i'm not mistaken and i don't believe i am okay so we're gonna go like oh there we go like this always always jump out of the boat it's just a good idea you won't ever regret not not going in a boat but yeah i, I want to talk about it a little bit because um i feel like uh we have this real struggle uh in case you are curious by the way um yeah, no, I, I won't mention it. But I was going to be like, oh, it's number one cause of male death. But the there is this real uh, problem with, like, how society deals with death as a whole, right? And everyone has their own opinions. And I think it's interesting that the best way... it The more... I, 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 don't, I don't think I have the right words for this one, actually. 
but uh, I've been I've been thinking about it a lot a lot recently, and like one of the things I think everyone who I've spoken to about this, who also knew him, who was also friends with him, is like yeah, didn't you you don't really re appreciate that anyone can die. Uh, <laughs> it's it's way less likely if you're young and healthy, um, except for him again. Like I think like male suicide is super high up, but I, I think um, I think I think understanding that it might might link into why I've been thinking what I've been thinking about, like always make sure you're doing something you value in life because uh, that's a thing. But it's, it's been especially this week of like, you know, if if everything is just trying to barely get by, then that's that's not, uh, you know, it, it's such a generic thing to say, that's not a life, we'll live. But I think that is actually my opinion here. Like if you, if, if you don't put your 15 minutes away a day, and then at the end, because my, okay, this this is how I believe in death, right? I believe, or I like to believe, again, I, I don't really, I, I, whatever. So I believe that when you die, you get like a big like credit screen and it's like made by, and then it gives you like the list of, you know, people who made this game. And then it gives you like your stats, like you traveled 1,500 kilometers. That's 90% of the moon. Here's some achievements you got. It's like uh, officially made friends with five different people. Uh, you know, this time you saved someone's life. Uh, this time you actually got a whole whole species of animals killed because of this butterfly flap. Uh, this this time you stole from a shop, but you felt bad about it, so you know you you, you get the the guilt achievement <laughs> and all that sort of thing. And then you think to yourself, like, you know, why why did I not get the learn Japanese achievement? Why did I not get oh, like fluent in another language? It's something I've always wanted to do, but I just I'm having issues every time I try. Uh, why why did I I focus so narrowly on this thing? And it's um. I think the 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 best way to live life, you know, regardless of what you think is true or comes after or doesn't, uh, I, I I think it's I think it's better to believe nothing comes after or to believe some fun joke of what comes after. I think believing someone else's vision of what happens, it might it might be comforting, but I I don't know if you'll believe it in the last moments. I think you've got to just believe something as simple as like you know things. I, I have this, of all the infinite time that exists, my time is not infinite, but that time to me is as good as infinite. That is 100% of the time I'll experience. So given that is the case, that means it's a very limited amount of time. And using what you can to the best of your ability and having good times is something you should place a higher value on than you normally do. That's my thoughts. Uh, try more work fun things. In fact, if you can, the, the dream is to have most of your life be half work, half fun, like mixed together, right? Uh, you never want to have just fun. You never want to have just work. And I think the next time you're dreaming of like a big vacation or whatever you're picturing, I think it's always better to dream of having, I think it's, I think dreaming of things is dangerous. And I think, uh, the best things are the things you can kind of easily do, but not too easily do. And that might seem, seem like it makes no sense. But to me, it seems like the good summary of what I've said today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I think we got a little bit down at the end there. Um, but I... That's just... I don't know. I, I think... I... As a, as a fun little thing, I've never dealt with any family member... Uh, I, I, my mother was born young and I was born young. Like... I, I think my grandma's right now is in her early 60s. I, I, I think I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I think my grandmother's in her early 60s right now, which is <laughs> incredibly young for someone who's like 20, right? I, I think so. All, all my all my friends have like parents older than my grandparents, or a lot of them do, and it's like mind blowing to me. I'm just gonna get some of this because I can't get back in there. Uh, it's it's mind blowing to me uh, the fact that you know that's that's a thing. But you know everyone's different. Everyone's got different ages. That's why some people deal with more stuff than others and I think it's kind of I think it's good having a friend die you know this is like reversing everything else I said I think it's kind of good I think this is the best way for it to be because like I said it was someone who basically alienated all of his friends sometime before what happened and with good reason and it also it made me realize that because when it's a family member the problem with family is everyone tells you you have to care about family and then everyone tells you you have to feel the same way they do. Which means someone in your family is going to be best friends that was highly affected by this person. And they're going to like force that onto you sideways. Whereas when it's with a friend, 
everyone's in the same kind of boat. Every, everyone accepts that everyone has a different relationship with every friend. I'm closer friends with some guys than other guys. Some of my friends are better friends with each other than they are with me. Some of my friends are worse friends with each other than they are with me. That's how all friend relationships are. And I think we need to have a better understanding of that being the way the world is. And I think, uh, I don't know how I got around to that with death, but I did. Also, how did this drown even get there? Like, what? How does that even? Anyway, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too down. If it was down, how about I tell you a joke? Why don't any train conductors tell jokes? Because they don't want to get off track. Ah, there you go. Brought it back. Saved the episode. Hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. I won't ask you to like this one because I said that, oh, there's like an innocent notification at the start of the video. You know, those Ooh, like the video things. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't liked it by now, then maybe you just don't want to like these videos and a reminder isn't going to help you anyway. So, just for today, no, no reminder to hit the bell or to like the video. Just, just a goodbye. See you next time or next week. Bye. Thank you.